Hi, I'm Amanda from Guide for Geek Moms, and thank you for joining me. I mean, I love the movie. I think it's such an important film for parents and to see because motherhood, I mean, it opens up a whole new set of worries and fears, and especially during this time of the pandemic, you know, um, where it's taken such a mental toll on all of us. So Amanda, you did have a child last year during the midst of it all. Yeah. I was just wondering if, you know, you can share some of that experience and, and also, you know, do you think this film could offer any solace to new mothers during this difficult time? God, I think making movies like this is about feeling seen and heard and having, uh, you know, having something to say where other people can absorb that. And, it, you know, when, when you talk about something that's stigmatized, it helps to destigmatize it, you know, slowly. And mm -hmm. I, I, I think, you know, postpartum depression is something that happens to like, I think at, at this point it's one out of seven mothers. And it's crucial that we try to make a, create a space where people can talk about it and get help and talk to their doctors and try to, try to, you know, get help. Um, because, you know, and, and so that's why we make movies like this and, and Amy's perspective on this, Amy Koppelman, the writer director is just so beautiful and so empathetic and compassionate to, to, you know, having children and, and, and postpartum depression and, 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 and mental illness. And, and I, I feel like the more we talk about it, the, you know, the better off we all are. I, I know I feel that way. Definitely. And, you know, having, <laughs> having a baby, you know, having everybody be masked and, and there was, there was a disconnect for me in the delivery room. And, and, um, but, but, but at the same time, I, I feel grateful that I was able to still have the support that I wanted. If I have had my mom there and my husband there and a really incredible midwife and, and nurse, but I, you know, it, it's in some ways it was great that I got to be home mm -hmm. and for work, you know, to be with my newborn, but also, you know, it, it was a little like even less accessible than it would be to reach out to doctors and, you know, go back into the hospital. I had some, had some issues afterwards and it was just, it's hard, it was hard. And I imagine even harder for everybody who had to deal with that throughout the pandemic. It's a tra traumatic experience to begin with for anybody. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And Finn, you also had become a new father filming this, right? Um, right. And one of my favorite parts in the film was when, you know, Julie spoke with her doctor and, and he stated to her that, you know, because of her, he not only asked about the physical health, but also the mental health of, you know, new mother. So my question to you was, you know, did working on this um, film make you any more hyper aware of these issues with the mental health issues with your wife after have just given birth? Yeah, I think it did, you know, checking in more i think um i think even sometimes something really really tiny like how are you feeling can can go a long way i learned yeah. <laughs> um yeah yeah and and I, I you know i think we it's everyone is so focused on the baby rightly so it went after you have a kid mm -hmm. um but like from uh, but like that's it's just amazing the shift from like when when she's pregnant is like all about her and then suddenly it's like all about the kid 100 percent, and it's like i, I and, and moms too but it's like no no one takes care of the mom you know yeah and that's a really Where's freaking the support? Like traumatic a, thing to go through uh, just, for a nor yeah, for anybody for any for anybody yeah. it's just and, and so you think about yeah. what's needed for the mother like she's a goddess she's yeah. just brought this human being into the world and and you know you if if you're lucky enough to have a support system a good support system at home sometimes that's not enough you know sometimes mm -hmm. you need like a, a doctor or you know or or you need to talk about possibilities and or you know a, a plan of attack to and to deal with the feelings of the hormone surges and stuff like that so like what about what about all that and where what why why does it why do you get so much care paid for care with your insurance or you know uh, at the federal level and um before you have the baby and then during the delivery and then at the at the end like at I'm the fourth like, trimester you're like yeah. see you later you have yeah. a new child your hormones yeah. are dumping out you have no sleep you're terrified of killing your kid and like accidentally because that's a fear of all of ours mm -hmm. and 
and and the hospital bills by the way here's 20 yeah. grand you owe us you know yeah. it's just like what <laughs> i mean i i i know i 100 percent agree it's this is it, as i said it brings up so many great um talking points that we need to discuss and and I love the film and uh, definitely bring tissues, but thank you all for giving me these few minutes to chat and I look forward to its release to watch it again. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks guys.